Defense Secretary Delphine Lorenzana, Interior and Local Government Secretary Eduardo Anyo, Senator Bongo, AFP Chief of Staff General Philemon Santos, Sir, Philippine National Police Chief General Francisco Gamboa, Sir, Philippine Military Academy Alumni Association Incorporated Chairman Edgar Agnipay, Sir, Philippine National Police Academy Alumni Association Incorporated Chairman William Magaventa, Sir, the Philippine Military Academy Masid Lawin Class of 2020, the Philippine National Police Academy Mandayo Class of 2020. The period we live in is not a vineyard of comfort. These are troubled times, dangerous, abnormal times caused by a fast spreading and highly contagious virulent virus or virus, the COVID-19 that cuts across the whole of humankind. There is no aspect of human life that is not affected by the terrible curse that lurks at every corner and every turn of every space where people meet, converge, where people have been. In direness of occasion, Every human activity, economic, financial, or elsewise, has been affected. Sadly, its end appears to be months and months away still. In the meantime, we can take measures to alleviate or mitigate the hardships wrought upon us and raise our hopes that sooner or later the cure will set us free from COVID-19 which shall be made available to all of us. Patience, perseverance, and resiliency are the crying need of the moment. I trust that every Filipino has this, this in his person and virtues abundant. That said, let me now extend my warmest congratulations and best wishes for all of you who are graduating this day. I give you my salute. Napakahusay ninyo. Hurdling the, both the police and uh, being a soldier requires everything. Let not COVID-19 dampen the joy and pride that you must be, must be yours after going through grueling years of study and rigorous training within the classroom walls and the perimeters of the parade grounds of your alma mater. I can feel the pride that is in you resulting from what you have accomplished. But believe me when I say that brother still are your parents and loved ones. 
because what you have become indeed resplendent in your uniforms in your paragons of manhood with all its connotations officers and gentlemen all of you owe your parents so much that is why I consider this special day as theirs as much as it is yours this day belongs to you both I am really very happy for you tonight I share your acceleration and I me I'm confident that I will have soldiers the finest from our uh, military schools and police uh, uh, graduates that you will be there to secure the Republic for all time. All of you owe your parents so much, and that is why I said uh, you should be, I am sure, you'll find a way to be together, even at a distance, just to shorten the space as it is mandated by law. We cannot do anything. At, at that is why as you hand over your diplomas, medals, or plaques to your parents as a sign of respect and filial piety, express to them in the manner you deem most appropriate your lasting gratitude. They deserve the accolade and I also applause for them. Graduates, the world is changing and we have to adapt to the changes lest we lag behind. But like someone else said, we can change in the changing world and yet cling to the unchanging values of life. Yes, indeed, values like love of country, honesty, integrity, concern for the poor and the needy, adherence to the role of law. These are values that make our society humane and a nation progressive, a simple truth that is unsaleable. I suppose that all of you are imbued with these values. After all, that is what your alma mater prepared for you. Let it not be said by anyone later in the conduct of your affairs and performance of your duty, you failed your alma mater and wasted the efforts of your mentors. Heaven forbid. Sana Wagnaman. For indeed, that would be very sad. Keep that in mind always. The eyes of the Filipino, your fellow alumni, and your alma mater are upon you wherever you may be. By your conduct, your alma mater shall be judged. So also shall be your fellow alumni be similarly treated. Finally, let, 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 let me end this question which I once heard. It goes thus. If those who are tasked with the maintenance of peace and order 
and the protection of public and private property do not do their mandate or worse commit what that is which they are called upon to prevent or guard against. Again, I said, the question be, what then? Sinong tutulong ng bayan? Who will carry the liberty? Who will carry our independence? Who will carry the constitutional duty of due, due process? Fair play. These are the things which you have to worry. For after all, your Magna Carta, and for all of us, is the Constitution of the Republic of the Philippines. Remain true to that sacred document and remain as ever loyal to the Filipino flag. Graduates, there is both a question and a challenge that beg of a response. Your response. Think it over. You have all the time to do that. Thereafter, act accordingly. Once again, my soldiers, my policemen, the soldiers of the Republic and the soldier, the, the policemen of this government, mabuhay kayong lahat. At sinasabi ko, saludo ako sa inyo. And, uh, I will now, I will just read the, the Office of the President of the Philippines, Malacanian. Pardon of punishment. In observance to the time-honored tradition of the Philippine Military Academy, and on the occasion of the graduation of the PMA, Masid Lawin Class 2020, I, Rodrigo Duterte, President of the Republic of the Philippines, Commander-in-Chief Armed Forces of the Philippines, hereby pardon all outstanding punishment of the upper class men, the second and third, second, third and fourth class of the Cadet Corps Armed Forces of the Philippines as recommended by the National Defense effectively. Uh, granted the 22nd day of May in the year of our Lord, 2020. Let me add, if labor, to the guys that are uh, uh, the well, uh, maybe uh, you do more for the country. This is just a challenge. The following certificates from the Office of the President were awarded to the recipients in the program earlier this afternoon. The certificate of ownership of house and lot for class, the class valedictorian. A house and lot, two million from the Vista Land Company of Mani Villar. Now, let's go to the pardon. Second Lieutenant Jemalin Diocares Sugi, Philippine Army. Fire Inspector Leanne Banico Palermo, Bureau of Prisons. 
and uh, I, I'm sorry, these are the beneficiaries of the house and lot. So, puro babae. <laughs> Yung boyfriend na katabi mo, sinyasan mo lang na hindi sila pwede pumasok ng bahay na lasing, nagluloko, nagbabae. Uh, uh, this will be, sabihin mo, akin ito. At huwag kang pa laboy-laboy niyan. A gun certificate of the class GOAT A Rock Island Armory Caliber 45 pistol with three magazines. Go! Uh, I salute you also. Uh, at uh, ang sunod, Second Lieutenant Rexelwin Rex, Rex, Joan Olivo Ison. Philippine Army and Police Lieutenant Al Shadat Hassan Abdurajak. Ah, kapatid ito ng aid ko. Talaga ha? I am happy. And uh, Wala naman kung ano pang bibigay na bahay. Ito naman sa pardon ng PNP. The same, I read, uh, I will just, uh, well anyway, uh, Office of the President of the Philippines, Malacanian, pardon of punishment. In observance of the time-honored tradition of the Philippine National Police on the occasion of the graduation of the PNP, uh, PNPA Mandayo Class 2020, I, Rodrigo Duterte, President of the Republic of the Philippines, hereby pardon all outstanding punishments of the Cadet Corps of the Philippine National Police Academy as recommended by the Secretary of Interior and Local Government effectively today. Granted this 22nd day of May in the year of our Lord, 2021. Fuck, fuck, ako. Alam mo bakit? Dito, uh, ang pardon seems to be religious really pardon. Uh, an upper class dito all outstanding punishment uh, police. <clears throat> ako, hindi talaga ako nagtataka. Ang tao may kulukuhan. And tao may, we, are all, we are all entitled to our weird things in life. But when you become, or you, have, you are now a policeman and a soldier, kindly, kindly hold the honor bestowed by the country upon you, sacred in the hollow of your hands. Magandang salamat po sa inyong lahat. Congratulations. And I sign
lahat ng kasalanan. Oh, marami yan. Thank you.